where can I study Quran? Where can I study Quran? In in Ummu Dunya? In Ummu Dunya? Where can I study Quran? The mother of the earth, subhanAllah, mm. mother of everything. Ummu Dunya. What do you think? Does you have you have trouble? I had a bit of trouble looking for Quran oh, teachers yes. at times. It's, it can get a bit difficult sometimes, but then. The thing is, I know with you, you're also in a, you're also in Hayati, or was it? You're in uh, the Haramain. You're in Haramain. Masjid Haramain. So obviously, um, I've never had that kind of exposure, so mm. I don't know what's happening there, how that works. Okay. How is that? Uh, well, before that, when I first came, was I done private, mm. mainly private, um, private for Hibs, private for Tajweed, and you can do private for Qira'a. So you can pick up three different Quran teachers for three different things. Mm. A private one for Tafsir. You can get everything. Free, so many different teachers can give you different things. But you want one teacher that will give you everything. Um, there's unbelievable amounts of private teachers. All the local masajid. So there's a mosque in every corner, right? Yeah, yeah. Roughly. Every two streets there's a mosque. Every three streets there's a mosque. Every two steps there's a mosque. Yeah. You can say that. Yeah. And in each one of them mosques is normally a qualified imam. Most of them. Except for them on little, little small ones mm. under the buildings. Most of the masjids, masajids, they have qualified imams. And you could study with most of them. Nearly all of them will be offering. For a price, of course, you pay, pay, their, pay their due and their time. You can study with these. But then there's famous teachers that are available as well. Mm. So you can go towards Azhar and find many, many teachers. Uh, and through the Azhar system, there's many, many. But privately, in this locality, there's loads of teachers that You mentioned though, you said you had hardship because I know when I first came, I just asked a few brothers, they sent me some numbers and I just asked the chef. And what I mean by hardship is not by finding the teacher. Ah, right. It's continue, uh, just comfortability ah. and um, I don't know, they, they have different ways of teaching. Of course, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. So I found a teacher, I studied with him for an hour, I didn't like it. Um, sometimes they go on their phone. Or sometimes they're a bit distracted, they don't give you the full attention um, Or he's not teaching me the way I want Or he's not strict enough because I wanted a bit stricter So I changed And I chopped and changed for like I think, you know what, I, I didn't qualify of, what you're saying yeah. Because um, people might think SubhanAllah, you're studying Quran, and how can you be saying that? Mm. But I think they don't know the reality that is um, What we understand of studying Quran in the UK is nothing like in Egypt Because yeah. obviously in Egypt, it's you, you may think you know, this person might be so qualified, but when you look at him, you think uh, Obviously, he might not have the best of thoughts And he might not have the way, best ways of teaching, he might not know mm. how to teach mm. He might be have the Ashra Qira and have everything, all the knowledge But he might not know how to teach you So sometimes you just got to try him out And uh, sometimes also we're, we're a bit picky Because yeah. we came from studying in the West Studying in the UK to here Like, what's this? I don't study like this Like, I want your 100% attention And I want you to teach me this way and that way, but he don't. He has his own way of teaching. So, you know, I chopped and changed a bit, alhamdulillah, um, until you find someone you're suitable with. But the access is there's so many, mm. like, and there's so many top quality issues here. Yeah. What about, okay, so what about Haramin? Because obviously Haramin is not private teacher, so he's studying in a. What is it exactly? Haramin, you know, Haramin is under the Waqf al Azhar, mm. and also, I think, a separate funding. So, Azhar fund it. Mm. As well as I think I'm not sure if it's Kuwait or Saudi. But external funding. Yeah. There's an external funding okay. with it as well. Um, it's free, so there are quite a few around. But in this area, maybe just Haramain. But I've heard of other areas they may have. But Quran. what is it? Is it is a so it's a masjid. Yeah. It's a big masjid, which is for foreigners, and it's for Hifz al Quran. That's it. Tafiz, yeah. So you're there to memorize the Quran. It's open from 8 a.m. to Maghrib. And it's completely Every free day, except for Yom know, Jum'ah, except mm. for Friday And it's completely free of charge And not just free of charge, they provide food oh, They nice. provide a meal a day for most of the students mm. So it's really amazing so, Alhamdulillah, most of the time I don't eat there Because I you go at times where I don't find the food so I'd go early before food or I'd go after food Because mm. you don't have to be there from 8 to Maghrib You go and do your 3 hours of reading, your 2 hours of reading And give your give your test to, to the sheikh or give your new and then leave so this is why it's quite nice there's flow a big flow of students in and out of the doors right. some many many students come at eight and only about maybe six percent or seven percent of that will stay the whole day oh. everyone else has other classes yeah. and other responsibilities so they come and go come and go most come two three hour slot do your muraja do your new read to your teacher and leave that's what most of us do Haramain is very good, it's a free institution, um, very strong, but if you're committed to a long time 
and a slow progress, yeah. then stick to it. Because it takes time. There's many brothers that did it for two years, three years, four years. It, it is a very slow process. Um, but this is why it's known as quite strong. They they, they turn out strong yeah, for yeah. first. Alhamdulillah, I've heard some brothers really strong and they expect you to be strong. Mm. Like the tests they give us. Yeah. Like sometimes just give me a one word and of that juz read and sometimes think, I should know that but I don't and I'm, I'm not as strong but some others to love here that are strong here would be able to pull out the ayah from their head and knowing what Jews are what sort of way it's from mm. and sometimes they'll say what line is that in what page and you should know this so they really expect they have high standards okay alhamdulillah but Quran Hayati you know Quran Hayati Sheikh Adil's place I just heard of it I know, obviously I've never been so it's similar to Haramain mm. but it's when you pay for oh, okay. so it's private it's not funded by Azhar or any other charity organization. We pay for it. Um, Sheikh Adil charges, I think, about £50 pound a month, sterling wise, £50 to £60 pound a month. Um, and same, you can go in, you can be there all day, you give your two hours, three hours. So it's, it's wide, it's vast. You've got there are a few institutions, yeah. There now, are I'm, a few. Obviously, uh, there are teachers as well that will come to you and mm. study with them as well. And then there's, there's some teachers that rent rooms, like, Sheikh Allah used to have a Tibian, mm. he'd, he'd rent a place there and he'd have that open from Fajr to Zuhur. You come in, do your reading, give to him and go. Mm. Yeah, so a lot of teachers are available okay. and a lot of possibilities. I think is so what do they say? Um, the Quran was revealed in the Hijaz, but it's recited in Misr. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. If you'd like to study Arabic at affordable rates, please check out our website below. Jazakallahu khairan.